Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy is back with a very special video. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about possibly the future of Beyblade. What I have here is some really cool stuff. It is 3D printed Beyblade parts. But before we actually get more into it, I just want to talk about a few things. Number one being that I know that BBG already made a video about 3D printing a level chip. But we're going to get a little bit more detailed and into it because there's a lot more to it. So I figured I'd spend some time doing research and that's basically what I've been doing these past few days. Looking into this technology and how we can bring it to Beyblade. So I'm hoping for a goal of maybe making my own parts at some point and also just having my own designs but also sharing it with you guys and giving you guys the chance to make your own parts and having them created too because I think that's the coolest thing you can do making your very own Beyblade from scratch. Anyway, what I want to mention first is that there are already a few Baytubers that are doing this and you guys may not even be aware. There are a handful of Japanese Baytubers who have gone into this area and have created their very own parts and I'm talking layers, frames, and even drivers. So it's pretty cool how far they've come in such a short amount of time and I know that not a lot of English speaking Baytubers have gone into it and I feel like I should be, or at least I should be one of the first to look into it because like I said, it's such a really creative and cool way to get into this whole hobby because as it is right now, you can get these parts for a pretty decent price and it's just such an awesome feeling to see your creation come to life. I will be posting links down below to videos of already made parts and uh, I also just want to give a big, big shout out to uh, Neo Sarkizo. Now, this is a person in Korea, I believe, and he has made a few base templates for 3D printing. Now, what you need to do from this is uh, just download these files and you can make your own designs right off the bat. So I might make a video later on about that, depending on how well this video does. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys some some of the stuff I already printed out and just how it works. All right, so what we're looking at right now are some prototypes, that being a 3D printed Beyblade burst layer, which you guys can see right here. Like I said, it's a burst layer. There's not a lot of detail that goes into it. However, it is a fully functional layer. So as I said before, these were base designs created by Neo Sarkizo. Once again, big shout out to him though. Um, but yeah, it's a matter of just taking this base design and just tweaking it to make your own design. Now moving forward, we have another part right here that you guys can see. It is a nice red color. Now you guys may know this part as a level chip and it is a extra component for the Cho Z or Super Z Beyblades. And as of right now, it's a very exclusive and hard to get part. It's going for about $200 right now. So someone actually went out and made their own design. And this design was created by another person who I forgot their name. I will post it right here on the screen though. Um, and they shared the design as well. So I just printed it out and this is what it turned out to be, which is just a pretty good level chip. Now, I don't wanna say it's a perfect design yet because it does have some minor flaws, which I will cover in another video, but I just thought I'd share it with you guys. However, for this video, our focus right now is gonna be just the layers. So like I said, level chips will be in a future video, but I have these base layers. And like I said, they're fully functional and we're gonna take one of them, which I have previously already used. Um, it is this one right here. And you can tell it's been a little bit beat up, um, but we can just take a look at it. It is a blue color. And uh, I do wanna mention, you can get this in any color you want. I just decided to use blue because it looks a lot like putty. Um, but anyway, it just is a basic circular shape with uh, kind of rough edges because it is 3D printing. It's multiple layers of plastic uh, layered out on each other. And then of course the bottom does have a set of teeth, which you can see right there. So like I said, this is pretty much the most basic design you can get for a Beyblade. However, it, despite being very basic, it makes for a deadly deadly layer and, I, and I'll explain it in a little bit. So we're gonna get our parts for this just to show you that it does work. Um, by the way, these are just copies of the layer I showed you guys, so nothing special. But anyway, 
we got this guy right here and we're gonna get our parts which i already chose for a good reason so we got a disc and frame which are zero and reach actually um, i chose zero because it is probably one of the heaviest discs right now and it's a nice round shape so it will fit perfect for the layer and then reach is just a cool design and it also lines up well with the layer we also got bearing which is arguably the best stamina driver right now um, so yeah we're gonna put this together now I'll, I'll be honest when i first put this together the teeth kind of fell apart however after breaking them in they do start transforming into actual teeth and you guys can see that it does lock in so just take a closer look so it's a little bit stiff like i said but it is a work in progress pretty much but it does come together that's the most important part so will it ever burst i'm not entirely sure but then again this is just a base design so if we had a more recoily or crazy design i could possibly see this bursting um, even if it does have really good teeth anyway we got this combination that looks fairly simple but it makes for a deadly combo because takara told me and hasbro never bothered to make a perfect circle beyblade and the times that they have for example uh basalt Herogium and duo uh uranus both of those were very round shapes but they each had a flaw to them to make it unbalanced in one way or another but this layer is perfectly round without any kind of flaws and what happens is that if you have such a round shape it just makes for the most op and uh broken stamina slash defense layer and what we're going to do now is just battle this combination against all of my super z bays and also some god bays and and i'll show you guys just how powerful it is but yeah we're going to do that right now all right, so what we're gonna do next is just show you that it will fit on a launcher. Now keep in mind that this is a right spin Beyblade. Um, so it's a template for a right spin. I believe there is left spin designs already, um, but I do just have right spin for now. Anyway, I got my regular Bay launcher right here. And I just wanna show you guys that it will fit. Now it's a little bit loose fitting at times, which you guys can see right here. It kind of falls off a little bit, but it works. So it's just a matter of finding the right launcher um, and also maybe further tweaking this design, uh, especially just for the prong area. But as you can see, it fits best on this launcher right here. But yeah, we're gonna do a short test launch. So it's pretty calm. There's not much else to see about it. Um, it, it is on a very calm driver, but that's pretty much the gist of it. It works on any launcher.
All right, so as you could see, this simple Beyblade was able to defeat most of my Chozy and God layers. Now, it's not any kind of formal testing, but it just kind of goes to show you that Kartomi or Hasbro should never make a Beyblade like this because it would be broken or OP. Anyway, that's kind of it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a basic idea of what 3D printing can do for Beyblade. And like I said, I'm gonna be making more videos about this very soon. That's probably gonna be my next focus for this channel. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Anyway, all links will be down below for videos, uh, files that you guys can print right now if you already know how to do that. But if you don't know, I will also make a tutorial for how to make these parts, whether or not you have a printer. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's it for this video. So until next time, guys, see ya.